When I say leading, it's not a leadership talk, it's uh, leading with impact, and I love that the only way I can describe it to you is by showing you the gesture, very Arab of me, because we're very gestural beings, but um, it's, it's really about, about leading your life and leading your decisions with impact, with impact in mind, and how you can measure success with impact. So let me start with one of my favorite quotes of all time. Right, and one of my favorite quotes of all time, and I'll say it in Arabic, but it's also translated in English behind me. لقد نجح الذي عاش حياته بكل معنى الكلمة. فضحك كثيرا وأحب كثيرا وحظي بحب الأطفال الصغار والرجال الأذكياء والذي ملأ مكانه وثم مهمته وترك الدنيا أفضل من وجدها والذي كانت حياته مصدرا للإلهام وذكره نعمة. I think it's really. I I I I I can leave the slide here and then just leave. You know, this is what impact is all about. It, impact is all about being a source of inspiration and leaving the world a better place with your memory being a blessing in the future, right? Now, let's talk about definitions a little bit and, and go beyond, beyond the philosophy. By the way, this quote is from The Lazy Person's Guide to Success, a very old book by Zelensky. I, I suggest you all read it. It's a very cool book. And, and I want to go a, a little bit into definitions. So what, what does leading with impact mean? Definition-wise, right? Now, when you talk about the definition of leading with impact is looking at making difference within your broader environment and making decisions that lead to this difference within your broader environment and yourself as well, right? Now, I could speak a lot about, about let's say, my 12 years of working within impact companies in general. But this is not what I'm here today for. What I'm here today for is to really sum up those 12 years into what I thought was the real measure of success. And how do you reach there, right? The real measure of success is not your designation. It is not your paycheck at the end of the month. It's none of these things. The real definition of success is what impact you make to the world. And I want to really put it together in, in how do you think about impact in three main pillars, right? And those pillars are collaborative innovation, active listening, and embracing diversity. Now, let's start with collaborative innovation for a second. Collaborative innovation as a concept is the idea of, of understanding that innovation comes from no one person on their own. Let's try an example, yeah? If, if some of you would, would be very nice to help me with this and there is your right hand up, try clapping, just with that hand up. Right? <laughs> Doesn't work. And, and, and we say that in Arabic, right? We say that all the time and, and it's, it's, it's a real thing, right? Collaborative innovation is all about working in a group. It's all about making sure that when you want to come up with new ideas, that many minds make amazing ideas, a single mind, okay ideas, right? <laughs> but, it's not just about being in a group, right? Being in a group, we can be in a group, we can fight all day, we can bang our heads against each other. It's really about active listening to each other, right? It's about understanding that others bring value to the table. And others bring value to the table a lot of the time when we understand the meaning of embracing diversity. And embracing diversity is the power behind all of our innovation is when we look at different groups with different mindsets coming from different backgrounds, different, different ethnicities, and different cultures. That's where all of that comes down to one melting pot where you can make impact and really change the world around you. So from this, I'm going to go into, from a personal perspective, how do you look at impact and what are the two main traits that drive this impact, right? And when I do that, I look at two things, empathy and pragmatism. Now, let me define empathy for a second. I love this definition because uh, for some reason it makes me laugh, but my sense of humor is very much so. <laughs> um, empathy as a definition is understand, demonstrating and, and, and showing that you respect and understand the needs of others 
the needs, feelings, uh, ideas of others without necessarily agreeing to them. Now, the necessity of agreeing to other people's ideas is not part of empathy. You can be empathetic, but still don't agree. I can see still differently from you, but still find a way to be empathetic, right? Now, when you take that and combine it with pragmatism, the idea that you put on the act of agreeing with someone without necessarily, without necessarily agreeing to them, that's where pragmatism comes into place. Now, being pragmatic means understanding others, means putting active listening into play, means being collaboratively innovative, means being uh, embracing the diversity of the people around you. That's what pragmatism means, right? It's putting your empathy into action. And, and, and that's how impact starts to cook around, right? Now, from here, I'm going to take one step at decision-making, right? Now, one thing that we really have to remember all the time is that we make decisions about things we care about, right? So decision-making categorically is an emotional process, right? Where empathy comes into play, where pragmatism comes into play, where all the other pillars that I spoke about come to play, right? So we tend to take decisions and to, to direct our decisions into things we care about. Now, when we do that, human behavior, by the way, fights so much against this concept, right? You make decisions based on the things which you are led to believe are good for you rather than the things that you care about. Now, when you focus on doing this, on decision making based on what you care about and turn decision making into a categorically emotional experience or an emotional process, that's where you start driving that impact in your life. Right? So, how do we measure success? And, and I stopped there for a second at the beginning and, and, and I wanted to really put it on a slide and, and, and really, you know, touch upon it. Is that being part of the Arab world culturally and, and, and for years and years and years, we were led to believe that our success is based on certain things, right? So, one of the concepts I love to bring here is the concept of gap year. How many people in the room have had a gap year? <laughs> so a gap year realistically is a year where you don't do anything, right? Where you don't study, don't work, or, or others. Now, <laughs> I want you to think about how uncomfortable this concept is to you, to your parents. So the idea of 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 gap year is really uh, very interesting to me because because in this gap year, because culturally, you know, we are led to. You finish our high school, go directly into university, from the university, go directly into um, in, into the workforce, you know, work towards your goals, work towards your dreams, and that, there's, there's nothing wrong by that, by the way. But, however, finding one's impact comes really from reflecting upon your life decisions, finding what you care for, and normally, mm -hmm. and if you look at research where in cultures where gap here is available, it's really... It really makes a difference in people's decision making, right? Now, I'm not, I'm not promoting gap year, by the way. Uh, uh, all the professors may look at me and, and and think and think I'm crazy, but but uh, but no, I'm not promoting gap year. But I'm bringing down the concept that that when you think about things differently, when you experience things differently, your decisions tend to change, right? Because you start to make decisions based on what you care about, realistically. Now. From here, I want to close this talk, you know, and, and, and focus on something which is super important to me and really defines what I mean by making impact. And this is how I've made impact in my career. Now, I've made impact in so many ways during the, the past 12 years, but, but realistically speaking, it's, it's not about the fact that I made an impact because I was great at impact. It's about understanding that impact is in everyone. Today, the idea that you graduate from university, join a company, do a certain role. Every role in a company has impact. Now, whether you believe to this, whether you decide to believe in that impact, that is completely up to you. Today, someone who works in procurement, someone who works in sales, someone who works in marketing and engineering and design, and, and no matter what, what role you take in a company, every company is a set, is a big set of gears that work together. And if you miss one gear, the machine falls apart. And your impact is driven like that. So believe in your impact in every step of the way. And how do you build that impact is really building your story. So 
I've always coached people on this and I've always driven people to, to, to within, within teams that I've worked with on building storylines. And, and I think, I think realistically that human beings are great storytellers, but even greater story listeners. Right? And the only way to make us, to make sense out of your story or out of your, out of your path or out of your journey is to write a story about it, is to make the story about it. But taking your story means also Finding solutions to real problems. Always think about that. That's how you make impact. That's how you write your storyline. But then always remember that throughout your journey, seek feedback and adapt to your story. Your story is not written once. It is written every day. It is written every hour. So change that based on feedback. Adapt it based on feedback. With that, I leave you. I leave you today with the topic of my talk, which is lead with impact. Really lead with impact. <laughs> Every day. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening to me.